gamma, which consists of what? what? What should the upper bound, what cut would correspond to the least upper bound of all these yellow sets? The green set beta is an upper bound, but there's a least one. Okay, there's one that includes all the other ones. Beta does. What's the, s the, what's the smallest set that does? Beta may not be the smallest. Yes. Good. Take the union of all the cuts. So let's union as a set, the set of all alpha, where alpha is uh, in A. It's the union. And notice that this is a subset of Q. Oh, really? Hey, that's kind of nifty. I guess that kind of makes sense. If we look at our picture, that particular union would look something like this, wouldn't it? It might be, of course, you could imagine a bunch of these sets sort of increasing with more and more stuff in it. But if there is a least upper bound, it might look something like this one that includes them all. Okay. Now, I have a subset of rationals. And I, 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 I was thinking of this as a candidate for the supremum. But the first thing I better check is that gamma is what? Well, first of all, I want to check that it's a real number, that it's a cut, right? So you should check that gamma is a cut. And then check that gamma is, in fact, the supremum of the set A. OK. OK, now I realize this is um, beginning to feel a little abstract. But after this lecture, we won't have to think about collections of rationals when we think of real numbers. We'll think of properties. I know if I have a bunch of real numbers, I could take the supremum, right? OK. But we're seeing where this comes from in this construction. Gamma here is a cut. It's a union of a bunch of cuts. And I claim it would, it'll give something that is not just a cut, but the least upper bound of the set of cuts. So why is gamma a cut? There are three things to check. First thing to check is gamma is non-trivial, non-trivial. Secondly is closed downward. Third is no largest member. I claim these are all things that you can see. We won't write them down because they are written carefully in your book. But let's just see if, if they're believable. First of all, why is gamma non-trivial? Can you see why gamma isn't empty? It contains a bunch of alphas, each of which is not empty. Excellent. Why is gamma not everything? Because there's an upper bound. Notice if there wasn't an upper bound, gamma might have been everything. Okay, So I'm just going to point out that it's non-trivial because uh, uh, we have, it's a union of cuts. It's a new union of cuts. And it's bounded above. And it's bounded. These are, these are both the ingredients that are needed okay, for non-triviality. Why is it closed downward? That should be readily apparent as well. It's a union of things that are closed downward. So if you pick one thing in gamma, because it's in a union, it means that that thing must be in some alpha. Right? So then everything to the left of that thing must be in alpha. Therefore, everything to the left of that thing must be in gamma. OK? Why is there no largest member? Again, if you pick something in gamma, it must be in some alpha. But alpha has no largest member. Therefore, it has something bigger than it. Therefore, that thing's in gamma. OK, with me? Good. So it's closed down, and uh, it is uh, no largest element. No largest. This follows from since each uh, 
let's say each little each little x in gamma is in some alpha. That's probably enough to jog our memories about why this is true. OK, great. So it's a cut. Now, let's see why it is a uh, supremum. Why is it the least upper bound? First of all, is it clear that gamma is an upper bound? If it's a union of things. And if order is inclusion, is it clear that gamma is an upper bound? Yeah, it contains everything. OK, so here we go. Gamma is a cut. Gamma is an upper bound, clearly. OK, so yeah, one has to be very careful with the, the, the word clearly, because it may not be clear to the reader. right? But this, is all, this is, should be very, very clear in the sense that, let's remind the reader, since gamma contains all the alpha, all the little, all the alpha in A. And we, we said uh, order was given by inclusion. OK? Happy? What's the last thing we need to check? Gamma is the least upper bound. It's the smallest in some sense. There isn't anything smaller. So let me draw a picture here to help us. Here is gamma. OK, and it came from the union of a bunch of yellow sets here. But um, I want to show it's the smallest. What's, what are some strategies I might employ? The smallest upper bound. Well, I could, I could show that if there were something smaller, it's not an upper bound. So help me for this picture. Sorry, let me, let me throw in just a few of the alphas here just to suggest a picture here. These are a bunch of the alphas in A. Now, let me pick something smaller than gamma. Oh, how about this cut? I'll call it delta, which is less than gamma. Oh, this looks too similar. Delta, which is less than gamma. Give me an argument for why delta is not an upper bound from this picture. So let me, let me put a few bullets here. Here's a next bullet. Gamma is a least upper bound because if delta is less than gamma, thank you, almost rewrote that, then what does it mean for delta to be strictly less than gamma? It means that there is something in Gamma, that is not in delta. Let's give it a name. Oh, um, let's call that element x. It is in gamma. It's not in delta. But the fact that it's in gamma means that it's also in what? Some alpha. OK. So why is delta not an upper bound for all the alpha? That's not an upper bound for that alpha. With me? So I'll write that down briefly here. If delta is in gamma, then there exists an x that's in gamma minus delta. This is the set minus. Oh, then x is in sum alpha in A. But then. Uh, and it's not in delta, in delta. So x, a delta, is not an upper bound. An upper bound for uh, A. OK, happy with that? OK, so let me remind us what we have now. We have an ordered field. It extends the rationals, and it has the least upper bound property. Okay. Uh, and in fact, I claim that 